Hi, it's Greg and Bird, and I'm here with Sherry Watson of Power of Purpose. Thanks for being with me today. Thanks. She, she's going to give us a connecting story, high level connecting, right, with very influential people like yourself. You're and, quite influential. Well, and you know yeah. what they say it's a two degree separation, right? Mm -hmm. And by connecting, by living a life where you want to see how you can help others. Yeah. The doors open. So leading, so servant leadership, right? Yeah. Leading with giving, generosity yeah. and giving. Yeah, and living on purpose. Mm. And so it's real from your heart. It's not just how can you get more business, right? How can yeah. I make more millions? Oh yeah, because you really, because you really care about your mission yeah. that your business or your nonprofit business is based on. Yeah, and so. Again, so what's the story with this? Because I was—I mentioned I met Harvey McKay uh, sometime near the beginning of 2016, and then you—and then you told me when you first met him, and yeah. you were both speaking at, at that event Larry Benet put on. Well, it was so cool because, mm. again, connecting, seeing how we could help each other. Met Larry Benet in the very beginning, and we together built our businesses, and mm. so then. As we had partnered and, and been, he came into our events and spoke on our stage and our, our family, our community went and was part of what he was doing and we just kept each other so lifted up and so he did a transformational leader summit in Sundance, during Sundance and he invited me to come to it and had a cause for people who are homeless and he brought in Harvey McKay, some of the most amazing leaders. So we got to sit in a room together talking about living on purpose and how we could help each other to make more of an impact. And then I got to go to dinner with just a few of us and Harvey McKay, and I won't spill the beans, most amazing person that impacted all of us came and did the keynote. And it was all about being mission driven mm -hmm. and when you hear who this was he put a picture up on the wall and he multi-billionaire and has impacted the world and he had his kids his grandkids all of his family and he said every one of them that two-year-old knows our mission our mission right. of our family so right. you guys live your mission, create yeah, yeah, yeah. a mission. Be driven from the heart. Yeah. You know, our mission is to launch and empower at least 10,000 nonprofits for a more connected and loving world. Mm. Get a mission that drives mm. you, that mm -hmm. others gravitate to, mm. so that together we yeah. can spark the heart of the world uh -huh. to uh -huh. live on purpose. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, I want to dig into that deeper. So what? So so we'll look forward to that in the next in another future yeah. video to tell that story of, of, of who that was and yeah. how they impacted all of you. Um, so with Harvey McKay, what was what was your impression, or what did you get from that that first meeting? When we all went to dinner that night, and Dr. Vic, and who was one, who was the the really built the culture in Zappos, and I mean just amazing people. It was all about how they could help each other. It was all about what can we do to help? How can we serve? How could it wasn't So you were seeing them all it was a dolphin it was a dolphin group. Yeah, it wasn't um, a joint venture like I've got a big list. How big's your list? How? Yeah. And reciprocate it was so, got reciprocate. So loving and so mission driven mm -hmm. and I love it here at the at the strategic at the glo at the sorry, we, I gotta start that again. The million dollar strategic alliance summit, first ever. Um, although there, there already was strategic alliance summits for a few years, uh, I love it here. I'm in the right place now with the right people. So yeah. just like Sohil told me to say, I'm the right person in the right place at the right time, doing the right things with the right so people. True. Thank you, Sohil, for believing in me. Thanks for everyone who believed in me and helped me get here. Because yeah. now we're doing that, and then it's like now I'm with people who understand me, and we speak the same language. And oh yeah, so so how did it feel? When see this is what we're supposed to do is dig deeper when people share and ask more questions to understand better. So how did you like how did you feel when you saw those people treating each other that way and always looking to serve, right? How can I help you? Uh, genuinely, right? It was living a life of abundance. There was no hierarchy, there were no egos, or, 
and to sit with such a caliber of folks who really impacted our world mm. and we were all equal and it was all about how can we serve each other mm -hmm. and that really imprinted in my heart living on purpose in a life of abundance oh so it's just this abundant feeling yeah. oh yeah absolutely i get that here yeah. and like right now yeah. Like yeah what we're doing here we're living on purpose and we're living abundance yeah and we're creating more and more abundance the more that we connect and explore how we can strategically align because our purpose is aligned yeah. oh yeah i wanted to say this before in a different video <laughs> which is kind of funny because some people watching this don't know what they want before but this thing here is that souls naturally collect together based on their purposes so if they have that purpose then they will they will collect right that naturally happens and so then it also naturally happens here in this world it just probably tends to happen a little slower in the spirit world it's it's they're already together right all right i think your group is ready now Okay, well, yeah. more to come. So right. go to nonprofitwebclass.com. Mm -hmm. Learn the power of the nonprofit that you can go out and make the impact and be that servant and empower folks to live that kind of life that we're destined to live. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.